Hey Gearspace, uh, this is Electron uh, in, in the Electron booth actually. And uh, first day of uh, Super Booth, we released a new product yesterday, which is a new version of the Analog Heat. Uh, it's called Analog Heat Plus FX, and the name is quite telling of what it is. We added a bunch of effects to make it more creative and more fun to use. We saw that the Analog Heat Mark II was something that was sort of a set and forget kind of unit that you put aside, you found your perfect preset and then you let it go. But now when we added presets, we think it's gonna move more to where the machines and where the hands are so you can play with it. Uh, we added chorus, delay, uh, reverb, uh, warble, which is kind of a tapeish effect, uh, yeah. right? Yeah, compressor also and uh, bass uh, focus utility, where you can uh, basically make your bass mono and fix some problems you might have with your, your audio, which could be uh, nice in a live set, for instance, to not get phasing issue in your bass. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have uh, a couple of new controls here that we can look into. We have Flow, which is sort of the the go-to page, at least for me. It's where you get the overview of the different effects. So here you can turn them on and off pretty quick. And the fun thing is that you can move it around. So you can customize the signal flow and the chain of them. Just super, super modular and quick actually moving around the whole analog heat block in this case. So you can have the analog distortion before or after the delay, for example. And um, uh, you can also do a very, very, very quick uh, mixing uh, overview here by holding the flow button. And you can then set the different volumes per effect. Um, so, and then we have the heat part, which is basically the uh, analog uh, circuitry. Yes. So all the analog uh, effects are in the heat block, and all the digital effects are in the FX section. So you can choose like the page you want to edit, like here you have fil uh, distortion, filters, analog filters, of course, uh, analog EQ, and uh, a gate, which is also new on this unit. And uh, if you go to the FX section, then you have, uh, uh, of course, all the digital uh, blocks there that you can turn on or off directly from their pages to uh, edit. Uh, yeah. And we have the modulation page, which is super, super fun. Uh, we have three LFOs and one envelope, and they all have two destinations each. Yeah, some have uh, three. There's, uh, I think, LFO one has a fixed uh, destination on the um, on the filter, analog filter, but also two extra destinations. So basically, you get a lot of destination for the modulation to control different par parameters. All parameters that you can essentially uh, tweak on the unit are uh, LFO destination. Cool. So. Just to take a little listen of it, uh, we sampled the uh, Sither string instrument that we have over there. <laughs> we sampled it uh, straight into the Digitact here. So let's just trig a little melody and see how it sounds. We set the envelope in this time, uh, in this case, on uh, delay time. So when we pass a certain threshold, it's gonna uh, adjust the delay time up and down, which me will make it uh, move uh, in pitch, uh, of course. So now it's uh, totally clean. And the sample ended. We 
The sample was only 30 seconds long, so that was it. But as you could hear there, we added reverb, uh, delay, uh, and uh, some time set on the envelope. Thank you for uh, this little session. Yes, thank you very much.